It's been one month since Nigel's Creedland went public, sharing the plight of his living conditions with our new team. The story of the young blind man without a bathroom, running water and electricity touched the hearts of many and galvanized one young woman into starting a process to help. The end product is a brand new beginning for the 21-year-old, now enjoying the comfort of his new home. Creedland says he's excited with the change. Well, I move in here on Friday afternoon. Um, can you tell me how the moving process was? Well, I was transported by Nigel. Mm-hmm. Everything was easy, nothing harder. Okay, and you had people helping getting your stuff over from St. David's into St. George's? Yes. Okay. Tell me about the new environment that you're into right now. Well, to me, it's not a new environment for me because I learned the place already. One of the organizations contributing to the new accommodation is the Community Relations Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force. Superintendent Silver McIntyre says it's truly a blessing. My advantage point as a community relations person, we got involved, formed the teams of persons, a team of persons and immediately set out to seek help to assist Negus. I want to say that it was really overwhelming. Um, the CEO of Promo Grenada was overwhelmed with the response that they were seeing coming from Grenada and um, it reflected the Grenadian spirit where the appeal went out as to what were identified as the needs to help this young man. The house that was identified contributed from somebody from the area of St. George, um, Snow Corner area, was contributing individuals, contributing monies, material, food. And I, I must make special mention of the National Water and Sewage Authority and the Green Electricity Company. They both came in because the house needed electricity to be brought back into it. The water had to be reconnected. There. Niggas moved in on Friday evening where there was a blessing of the home and a feast to celebrate this new beginning. Other partners contributing to the venture are Promo Grenada and an alumni team from the St. Joseph Convent in George. Renee Toussaint, GBN News.